Hello, my name is Chris Chapman, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to effectively use uh, histograms and the Spirant gem to uh, test jitter. Okay, so what I have here is I have a QoS uh, block, and I'm going to go ahead and, and edit this block. So what I can do is I can uh, edit the frame size. So here I'm just using fixed, but if I wanted to I could use an incrementing, decrementing, random frame size, auto, or an iMix pattern. Uh, likewise, I can set up uh, different rates here. So I have a standard rate at 90%, but if I wanted to, I could come down to list and assign a unique uh, uh, rate per uh, QoS level. Uh, and I can also fill the, the payload to do uh, error detection. So if I choose PRBS, for example, I could determine whether or not there's any PRBS errors. Okay. So now if I come over to my frame, uh, you can see uh, that I have my toss field here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to expand this. And you can see I have a modifier. So what I did was I added a modifier, making it incrementing. I clicked Use Streams. And I set it for the next three values. If I wanted to explicitly set each uh, individual value, I could use a list as well. And I could have as many QoS uh, values as I want here. Likewise, if I come to the source IP address, in this case, I have 30 uh, IP addresses in my test. Uh, and again, I also use the use streams here. And we're going to begin with uh, this uh, IP source address. The next thing that I did is I came, out, came over and I linked these together. So what's going to happen is, is I'm going to step through each different QoS value and then step through each one of the different source IP addresses, giving me uh, my total pathways. Okay. So I go ahead and apply. <clears throat> okay, so this is on my TX port. So I now know that I actually have traffic uh, going through the port because I can actually uh, come over and look at these uh, individual values. By the way, here's an, another uh, uh, advantage. If I come over here and I customize this view, I can also pick what fields I want to actually show up in this grid. And uh, this way, I can copy down and fill increment if I've got different blocks. And again, it just shows you the first value of uh, the block. So from here, I could right click. And I could say, you know, fill custom, you know, down. OK, so here I have my values uh, for each combination of source IP address and QoS level. So to uh, set up impairment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my gem, and I have uh, blade 1, which is my TX side, and I'm going to impair the TX side. Um, in here, you see currently uh, that uh, I have traffic actually flowing through the, the device. You can see the rates and the bandwidth. So now I'm going to come down to profile 1. And profile 1, when I click on this, this allows me to set up a filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick an IPv4 diff serve toss, and I'm going to filter anything with best effort traffic, in this case 00. I can also name it, and then I hit apply. So from here, I could come over to bandwidth, and I could rate limit this particular field. So what happens is, is when the packet comes into the port, whenever the um, Anui uh, sees uh, best effort marked traffic, it will then apply this filter, and then you can mo you can modify what that filter actually does. In this case, I could rate limit if I wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the delay and impairment, and I'm going to pick an internet distribution just because it's reasonable. Uh, and but if I wanted to, I could also drop packets. In this case, one out of every ten or ten out of every ten. I could duplicate, reorder. I could modify so string replace constants in the field. I could add CRCs or IP fragmentation here. So I make whatever changes I want and I would hit apply. Then I come down to my RX port and I come over to the traffic analyzer and I go to histograms. And what histograms uh, will do uh, is uh, they will allow me to bucketize my, my traffic. 
So if I edit the histograms, I can change the histogram mode to a jitter-based histogram, and I want to pick custom. Well, if you actually look at what I'm actually impairing, I'm uh, adding about 160 uh, nanoseconds of jitter, uh, between 160 and 170. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, come up here, pick my bucket size, uh, and then I'm going to make each bucket one na uh, 10 nanosecond bucket. So this gives me a fine-tuned resolution of 10 nanoseconds of time. So I'm going to start at 170 nanoseconds and work my way up. And then the very last bucket is a catch-all for all remaining buckets. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then what I need to do is I, I need to change my view from uh, detailed stream results to histogram mode. And then I come over and I pick histograms. Once I hit apply with my histograms, then my uh, traffic starts to show up. So what I'm actually seeing is I'm seeing by QoS, by um, uh, diff serve value, and I'm seeing how many packets are uh, arriving with a jitter of, of a particular value within 10 nanoseconds. So from here, I can take a block and I can create a jitter chart. And then go back and now I can graph my uh, uh, jitter uh, by value. Then I can switch my view. So now I can compare multiple uh, values on my chart. So if I go back to my detailed stream results, now I can uh, see whatever I want in terms of uh, jitter. I can make these buckets of different sizes too by making the bucket sizes wider or, or narrower. So a uh, best practice is uh, go ahead and measure jitter, find out where your average is, and then uh, you can set up a bell curve actually around that and the way to do that is come over here and do a centered based uh, predefined mode and you make this middle mode right in the center of your your uh, uh, jitter. We go back over to the gym. The other thing that you can do is you can make this a dynamic model. So if, you, if I come over to advanced mode and I click on preview, now I can see live uh, what's actually happening packet by packet within the distribution. So I can make changes live uh, to my distribution. I can change the spread, for example, if I wanted to. And you can see the curve pattern actually changing live. And this is all live, so as with everything with Spire, I can just hit apply and I can see my, di my distribution. So this is Spirant Test Center with Spirant Gem uh, using histograms to measure jitter. Thank you very much.